Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Guys, today I will tell you about a very beautiful software. The name is PD tool. PD tool stands for like phase diagram tool. So this tool is being developed by University of Illinois. And the beautiful, the beautiful part of this is that you can draw multiple phase diagrams and you can also plot this g versus x diagram also okay so now see here initially when you open this pd tool then we have two components like a and b okay so a and b initially the temperature is taken by default as 800 and for b it is 1200 kelvin entropy of fusion it is 10 and 10 or omega s it is the interaction parameter in solid phase and omega l interaction parameter in liquid phase okay then here it is written like compute phase diagram so if you put the values and then after that we need to click this compute phase diagram and if you want to play out this g versus t then you need to click over here okay Next thing is that uh, suppose we want to draw the phase diagram, then what will be the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature? So this is here you can put. Then DT. DT means when the algorithm takes the values, it calculates then what is the step size in which this uh, graph, uh, this making of this phase diagram will be followed. Means the G versus T diagrams. Uh, the G versus X diagram is plotted at every temperature and accordingly we get the phase diagram. So this is the step size to talk about. Okay. And when we want to plot G versus T at a particular temperature, then we need to write this temperature and uh, uh, we need to click over here like plot G T. Okay. So I will show you uh, for simple phase diagram which we know that is copper and nickel okay so what is the melting point let this a be copper and b be nickel so melting point of copper is 1083 right so it will be like 1083 plus 273 kelvin okay so let me put 1083 plus 273 that is 1356 and the melting point of nickel, yes, anybody know? Nickel melting point, it is 1455, okay, 1455 plus 273, 1728, 1728, okay. Entropy of fusion, here it is like entropy of fusion. Uh, so let this value be as it is. Then omega s and omega l, since this forms isomorphous, we know. So this omega s and omega l, let it be zero. T minimum uh, two thousand, then eighteen hundred. So here the temperature has gone up to seventeen twenty eight. So let me type it as two thousand. Step size, let it be five. Okay. And at what temperature you want this G versus H diagram? So let me decide uh, right now. Let, let it be at 1000. Okay. Now. So this is what it is happening. So it is trying to calculate the phase diagram. Okay, so now guys, you can see uh, this is the free energy of mixing at temperature of housing. Okay, so this is what we have drawn. So at temperature of housing, okay, now this red line in the bottom, 
you can see here the red line in the bottom it is being drawn such that it follows a curve like from 1, 3, 2, 5 so here it mixes uh, from this 1, 3, 5, 6 to 1700 then again in the downward also we get a line so there, here the two lines are getting merged so that's why we are not able to differentiate very easily okay now if I change the temperature from 1000 suppose I take 2000 let, let me see what are the changes Okay, it is not showing anything. Let me type like 500. Yeah, so at 500, you can see a diagram like this. This blue line is for solid, and this green line is for liquid. So the free energy of this solid is minimum, so that is a stable one. Okay, so let me uh, draw the free diagram at exactly the melting point of this uh, A part that is copper. That is 1, 3, three, one, three 5, 6. Okay. Now, you see the free diagram of liquid is here. Yeah, the free energy diagram of liquid and solid should uh, meet at a point. Okay. So it is meeting at a point. So that means this is correct. You can reverse also. You can do this for this nickel one seven two eight. Yeah, correct. So in between, suppose I take fifteen hundred. Okay. So in between, here we get two points, right? So like the from this isomorphous diagram, so these two points will correspond here. Okay, see in here in the bottom. So for that row fourteen hundred, take fourteen hundred. So it is like this. Okay. So this is a very beautiful software where you can draw the phase diagram and you can understand. So now suppose I uh, for this case. If I change the value of uh, omega s and omega l, something like this, then how the graph can be? So you can see. Okay. So this is forming some kind of eutectic kind of phase diagram, right? This blue one is the solid one, red one is the solid plus liquid zone. Okay, still it is constructive. Yeah, so you can see. Wow, what a diagram it is. So you can see here, uh, this is the typical eutectic phase diagram. Okay, so this is the point of a uh, eutectic, and we know this omega L is in negative, that means it shows that the liquid phase is stable. That means liquid phase will be stable, means it will make a uh, deep in the curve and since omega s is in the positive so that means that will be in the lower portion okay so okay so now this is for uh, one case okay so accordingly you can change these values and you can play with this okay so next time i will show you some good trace diagrams of uh, other alloys and i will come with some values and I will show you.
okay guys so for the time being uh this is it for my channel so thank you all